Hey everyone, this is Zach, and today we are going to do a couple battles with our March IC team. If you guys haven't seen the battles from that, go ahead and check it out. Unfortunately, because of time, I was only able to do 27 battles, but we went 20 and 7, so I feel like if I was able to play all 45, I would have maybe reached the 1700s, which would have gotten me a lot higher standing. And if you want to try the team yourself, here is the rental code. We did uh, get rid of the imprison on Zacian for uh, play rough because uh, imprison isn't good. But if I could make any changes, I might switch out Ensign for Landorus on this team which would give me more of a better matchup against Regilecki, which has been a really big problem. But there is one problem with this team. Even though we went 20 and 7 in the March IC, we still haven't hit Master Ball <laughs> with this team yet. So we're going to do this today. If you guys enjoy this content, do not forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments down below how did you do in the March IC. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. Uh, we just got some bad matchups, and I, I definitely tried to rush my play because I wanted to get this team to Master Ball before the IC, so I definitely played a lot of bad matches uh, beforehand. Hmm. Okay. So there is the Zapdos, but we do have the Grimmsnarl here. Do we want the Tailwind? Yeah, let's go for that. Araquanid and Galissapod, though, and Scorch. This team is half bug. Do we see the Trick Room? Does Araquanid carry Trick Room? I think we just want to get a Reflect up here. I feel like the Araquanid is a bigger problem. Lizard pod goes out. You bring in your own Kyogre. So if they don't trick room, I want to say next turn we just get up light screen and we uh, airstream into whatever comes in. Because Kyogre should protect next turn. Oh, you're going to max the Araquanid. Okay. We might not one-shot it then. Because Araquanid is pretty bulky. Go ahead and we'll set up the reflect. We do some good damage on it. So no trick room though. Max Geyser. Okay. So who did we bring in the back again? We brought Zacian Tornadus. We do have the option to Hurricane. So I think I just want to set up a light screen here. And just try to get as much damage into the Kyogre as possible. Oh, 
Oh, it's Choice Scarf. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Just like one bad play. Do you double into the Tornadus here? You might. If they double into the Tornadus, I think we just lose. And Zacian. Woo, yes. I do think we have to double into the Kyogre here. And that's why we doubled into Kyogre. Okay, so we're still in this. And there's the Scald. And they get everything they needed. Well, that's game. Oh, uh, good game. Oh, no, it's not game. Do we take Kyogre out with a heat wave? Let's find out. I thought speed checked for first impression. Does it have priority? Oh wow, that did nothing. And it's leftovers Glissopod. Well, they could double protect here, and this match is over. All right. I think in like a game two situation, we would airstream. 
That way, we would have a chance to be faster than Kyogre. Well, at 149, we still wouldn't be. Uh, so, we would definitely have to T-Wave the Kyogre the next turn. So, if we T-Wave there over Light Screen, uh, I think we win that one. So, that's just not knowing the items. And that's, I mean, that's the pros and cons of best of one. Okay, so... Venusaur, Groudon, we have to watch out for the Entei, We could take advantage of who do I want last though? Team Coco. So screens actually would have been really good here. It does have the air balloon. Let's max lightning and just get the tailwind off. We could see a support Entei with Snarl, whether it's a uh, choice scarf or assault vest. Coco could be screens, it could be physical, it could be special. Go ahead and get the tailwind off. And we just get rid of the Entei. And we'll see a Volt Switch. Okay. So if they bring in the Whimsicott, like, we honestly have the taunt advantage. It's going to be top. And Venusaur. There's no sun here, though. I think we just let Tornadus go down. Okay. I think they brought the him on top for wide guard. But as long as we get some damage, like we just bring Zacian in and Zacian 
kills it are even Kyogre's Ice Beam. Okay. Does Meowstic have Fake Out? Let's just go aggressive here. Man, does does Miostic have fake out? Totally forget. I think it does. Just the reflect. That's fine because the Behemoth Blade's gonna go first. We just have to hope that Water Spout is enough to knock out. And if not, they're in an awkward position. Okay, we do get the double knockout. There's the Porygon 2. P2 gets an Intrepid Sword Boost. I don't think that does anything. Uh, we just might max Grimmsnarl. Because Calyrex should protect here. So I think going into the P2. Yeah. We just have to hope that through Reflect we get enough damage. Oh, yeah. Was that a crit? No crit. I feel like P2 shouldn't have taken that much. And we get a DC. Okay. I mean, my turn was over. You could have just quit the next turn. Oh, and now we have to wait to get our points. Ooh, the Shed Ninja. We don't necessarily need. The instant here. But I feel like it would actually not be bad. Because this team does have a. More physical counterpart to it.
Kingdra and Kyogre. Ooh, I think... I think Kingdra hits 150. I think Kingdra hits 150. Uh, with Swift Swim. I don't know if that's modest or timid. It's a bug type, so the airstream should work. Are you safety goggles or focus ash? Ooh, the icy wind. Okay, so it is Focus Ash. Endure. Okay. So confusion would be the best thing here. Okay, you bring Kyogre back out. I think you ally switch here. Do we call the ally switch? Let's try it. Calling the ally switch, best feeling in the world. Not as much damage as I'd like, but... Okay, so we bring in our Kyogre. And Zacian. We 
of one more turn of Tailwind. So I think we just Water Spout here. And we Thunderbolt into the Kyogre. Station is going to protect. I was about to say, the combination should knock out the Kyogre and guarantee it. Okay, our Tailwind's gone. Our safest play here is to stall out the rain. So we'll Water Spout with Kyogre just for damage. And we'll detect on the Zapdos. Okay. Because then we just we start launching Heat Waves. Well, actually, I'd probably go for Thunderbolt in that situation because Thunderbolt is more accurate. I don't want to lose that match on a Heat Wave miss. Woo! Master Ball. I just can't believe that this team went 20-7 and seven in the IC. I just, I felt, I felt more confident playing against more common stuff that you saw in the IC. Like, how often are you going to see Galissa Pod? Uh, like, in the IC. Maybe if you, if you go up against Moxie. But hopefully we can get one more. Get our Master Ball win. And then move on. Local Tourist. Okay. Ooh, the Palkia... So we do have a Kangaskhan. Do I want screens in this match? I feel like King of Scon is faster. I don't know. I feel like this team could wall me out. Dude, how dope would it be to have that sweater in real life? So I want to say you go for Tailwind here. I feel like our Tailwind is safe. I feel like we just water spot for damage. I actually don't think I would mind if we lost Kyogre here. Okay. Did you Icy Wind? Yes, you did. Tornadus avoids.
Do we want to get more damage on the Palkia, or do we want to get more damage on the Suicune? Okay. Suicune's gone. Warwham into Kyogre. That's actually fine. Spectre Air. Okay. We'll try the Origin Pulse. Spectre is going to protect. Good thing we doubled into Palkia. Bring in Zapdos now. Okay, let's see. Now we get our max off, so we just have to watch out for Hydro Pump. Like Hydro Pump and Draco Meteor still does a lot into Zapdos, especially because we didn't get, we don't have screens this match. But I feel like it's more important to get Spectre off the board, which I feel like I probably should have Water Spouted instead. Palkia is going to protect. We're going to see the Focus Ash. Dude, the pause for the Protect hit always messes with me. So we will get the Knockout on Spectre Air. Okay, we are faster than the Zacian. We knock out the Palkia. And now it's, uh, it's a 1v3. So even if you do hit Zapdos hard, which we should take at least one Behemoth Blade. And thankfully we hit all of our Origin Pulses. And you missed the play lot rough, okay. Just gonna max flare and ice beam. They'll probably cancel the battle. Yeah. It's kind of funny because Palkia is 
Pokey is really powerful. Especially when it's given the rain free from Kyogre. It has a great matchup against Kyogre. As you saw, it was taking water spots like nothing. But we were able to work on their passive play and take advantage of it and just stall out their Dynamax. Mostly because of the Focus Ash on Tornadus. We were able to make good targets. But I feel like we just made good calls that game. Yay, Master Rank Ribbon. I wonder who didn't have it. Probably Grimmsnarl. So, like I said before, the way up to Master Ball, and actually half of the battles, um, before the IC, I ended up just scrapping. <laughs> I think there's a whole episode, like, thumbnail and everything that I'm just going to can, because it's not good play, and... I'd rather show you this video that is good play in us actually getting the team to Master Ball. But if you really want to see the team shine, make sure you check out those episodes from the March IC where we use this team to get a, a record of 20 and 7 and a rating of 1672, which is actually my highest rating. I feel like I actually could have done a little better uh, if I was able to play more matches. But, you know, you, you miss 100% of the shots you can't take. But anyways, uh, let me know in the comments down below how you did in the March IC. Uh, let me know what you think about the team and where you would put the improvements. Because the team is definitely not perfect at all. So, until next time, I'm Zach, and we will see everyone later. Oh, let me show you that rental code one more time. Here it is. Here's the rental code for the team if you want to check it out. But until next time, I'm Zach, and we will see everyone later.